On this episode of This Week in YouTube, Rebecca Black is back. Say that three times fast. We have a Miley Cyrus, wait, uh, maybe not, chat roulette video, and our affiliate links dead on YouTube. All of that coming up next on This Week in YouTube. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for This Week in YouTube is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is This Week in YouTube, episode 34, recorded December 9th, 2013. The return of Rebecca Black! This episode of This Week in YouTube is brought to you by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere on your TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Visit huluplus.com slash T-W-I-Y-T to start your free two-week trial. That's huluplus.com slash T-W-I-Y-T. Hello and welcome to This Week in YouTube. I'm Chad Johnson. This is the show for you, the creator. What's going on in the YouTube space? You need tips, tricks, and information to stay on top of it. As always, Lamar Wilson, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Chad. How are you? Doing great as well. Yes. I'm looking like an operator again, but you I'm are. in my familiar location. You are. I'm so happy. Yes. I can see the bar. To, if we go to your single, I can see the subscribe pillow again. It's, it, yes. Well, it was it, back you know, there before. Uh, upscri upscribe. Upscribe. Yeah. But bescribe. Bes yes. Scribe. And, and new chairs. Ooh. New. Fancy. And they swivel. Those from Ikea? I got these from Amazon, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I kind of bought them sight unseen, uh, you know, so. But, yeah, they were two for about 100 bucks, something like that. And, That's yeah, nice. they're. They're great. They look better than my last ones. So very nice, very nice. And, and did I mention they swivel? They swivel, and there are yeah. bar chairs, stools. Yes. So you, you know for this week to YouTube to, to find out all about. I'm just kidding. Yeah, but you know when I got them? Yeah. I got them on Saturday. Oh, not Friday. That's, not Friday. The day, Saturday. The day after. The day Friday. after, because yeah, because Friday was a thing. A couple. You know, a couple years ago, you would always buy your bar stools on Friday, sing about Fridays. Friday, and I, Friday, and I buy my bar stools on, on Friday. Yeah, exactly. But now it's Saturday. That's the thing now. Well, completely unrelated. Rebecca Black has come out with her new uh, song called Saturday. Not related <laughs> to our current uh, discussion. Not at all. It had nothing to do with what we're talking about at all. So this is interesting because she partnered up. She did a collab with someone. Yeah, D Dave Days, a, a friend of mine, but a really popular uh, YouTube musician. I can't even say musician. Musician, and, you know, he's on he charts on iTunes really well. Yeah, he, she, she partnered with him, and there were a lot of my YouTube friends and uh, associates in, in this uh, video, which was, uh, which is, it was really interesting. I, I, it, this, was, this was definitely a much better done video than, than the Friday video, and you can just kind of see how she's grown up and, Kind of taking charge, of, you know, of her her life, and she looks different. She looks older. Right. She was, she was like thirteen when she did that. I in think fact, 13. there's like there's multiple yeah. references to being like, whoa, sorry, and didn't mean to uh, bring uh -huh. you into PewDiePie's face there, but uh, <laughs> multiple references to like different alcoholic and maybe smoking things. Um, but yeah, yeah it's uh, it's interesting. It's that's, so, what, that's what 16, 17 year olds do. Woo! Right. Woo! Hey, go crazy. Yeah. So uh, the people in the background are these all like. Other famous people because I didn't yeah. recognize like any of them. Yeah, so a couple of those guys in the back are from the O2L um, collab channel, which is like boy band, super popular kids, even though uh -huh. they're like 21, 22. And yeah, so they make they make some interesting references to Friday. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely say watch it. There's a little surprise at the end of how they uh, how they resolve her issues with the guy who who ran that uh, <laughs> the whole Friday thing, the the black uh, British guy. Yeah. So, yeah, should we small. talk about that? Is that too much, too spoiler? I, it's not a spoiler. I, it's a, think, I don't think so. It's a three-minute YouTube video. Um, so yeah, at the end, after you know the whole romp, and they kind of yeah, they make lots of of references to Friday, and, and they go on, and then the the guy like, and it's kind of like whenever you're watching Friday, there's that weird moment where you moved away from Rebecca Black to some dude sitting in a car rapping. Yeah, the thing is, in all those videos that he does. 
it's always that weird moment where he just shows up. Yeah, and you're just like, who is like, this why, guy? Why are you driving next to a school bus, dude? And like, and then uh, if you watch his other videos, it gets worse. Yeah. yeah his, name is, his name is Patrice Wilson, and he's still on track doing all these kind of videos. But yeah, at the end, they, they made a, a, a reference so to him. So what's the backstory to that? So he is also, from what I've heard, he's, he's the manager or he's the president of the company that makes those music videos for kids' birthdays? I don't know if it's kids' birthdays. Or, or, or whatever. You know, people yeah, go to I, him, they buy a video, and then he, he yeah, produces yeah, they, it. There were parents who actually paid for this, and I forgot the name of, of the original company. Uh, but, yeah, parents paid for it. They did the video. So, you know, parent, her parents knew going in this, this Rebecca, you know, Rebecca Black's Friday video. They didn't do anything for a while until it, it tipped. Right. And people found out, and then it blew up. And so, you know, his business uh, started blowing up. Uh, they had a, uh, a contra contractual dispute. And the video ended up going down for a while. And then she took ownership of it. Maybe they went to court. Something happened. So now she has ownership of the video. She re-uploaded on her Rebecca account. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was because I think the, the issue was, and I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I think the issue was they paid for the video. They may have gotten something for it, but as much money and publicity that the video made, she wasn't getting a, a, a fair share at all. So right. they... They disputed it, so I think I think she there's definitely some bitterness between her and this Patrice Wilson guy. No relation to me. Uh, <laughs> so, for all you people who always ask me that, there's no relation, and and so yeah, so she's been going solo on her own. I gotta say she's integrated into the YouTube community uh, really well. I, I mean I've I've seen her. At, the thing at, is, she genuinely uh, seems like a pretty okay person. Like she she, she is. It's a ridiculous yeah. thing, but it it never had the edge of you're just doing this to be famous. It yeah, was kind it was, of like you, I, like you were having fun, and then this thing fell in your lap. Yeah, it just, it just kind of, and that's what she, she did a, um, a video called Rebecca Black reacts to Friday. And I think she did maybe a week ago. It's in the article. It and is, she, and she, she's reacting to like some of, the, and she's so embarrassed and things. But she mentioned that it was just her having fun, right? You know, they, they didn't think it was gonna blow, you know, blow up right. or anything. And, and, and she acknowledges she wouldn't be even talked about had this not happened. I mean, right. she, she's fully aware. Uh, and I don't, I don't think she's haughty about it or, or, or you know, full of herself. I think she realizes that she got this because of this video. Right. And so what ended up happening was in the video at the very end, uh, out of nowhere, this guy. So that's not him, I assume. That's some, some actor that. Yeah, but he and then he's saying the rap lyrics. He like oh, he is. He's like he's screaming the rap <laughs> lyrics. Yeah, and so there's an officer like get out of here. We're you know you have a restraining order. It's time to go. I, I think I could have done that that role, but what happened was I wasn't asked. <laughs> I no seriously, not because I'm friends with everybody who who's in the video. I I wasn't asked directly. Uh, it was kind of an off Facebook post that someone right. did. So, and it's like, hey, we just need a couple big black guys to be in the video. And I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. And they didn't say Rebecca Black video, so I, I declined. And I, yeah, I think yeah. that was, that could have been my star role. Dang. But it's, I'm, look, I'm okay with Missed it. Opportunity. <laughs> yeah, right. The video, it does have over 2 million views now. Like the, the Saturday, let me click it real quick. Uh, wait, no, it has 10 million already. Oh my gosh. When did this go up? Saturday. Oh. <laughs> that was a stupid question. <laughs> that was a stupid question. No, no, well, it. it it yeah, was 10.4 10. million views at the moment and playing an ad as we speak. God. I know, no, um, Ryan Seacrest production company pushed it. BuzzFeed pushed it. Wow. You know, so I don't know if people, you know, pay for the promotion. It doesn't matter. I mean, let them, you yeah. know, their views, that's great. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of views. And, How many and, of those are bought, Lamar? That's what I, I want mean, to know. We, we don't, we never know. You never know. But, hey, I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she she's able to stay relevant. Right. As long as I, you we're know, you know, as long uh, as we're in the the YouTube music video viral success theme. Oh um, god. I actually was shown this uh the other day. Uh everyone, you know, loves Miley Cyrus. They also love Chat Roulette. So what happens when you merge those two things together? Well, That's a interesting guy. Yes. Steve uh, Cardinal. This is so what's his, this guy he is there a he, backstory for him? He just does crazy videos. Gotcha. And I know the guy. He's you, just funny. He just, yeah. I didn't want to be great at a party. I did not want to know him after this. This is. So I think he, if you've met this guy IRL, you've seen a little bit too much of him. 
So, so, so what it is, yeah. he's on chat roulette pace. People don't know where you can have you know, anonymous video chats with people. So people are coming into his room and he's performing the Molly. So he's, he's performed it several times. Right. He's performing and people are, are you see the reactions on the left. They're either going crazy right. or they're like, what the heck is it? And now he's on a ball. He's on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it gets, it gets pretty good. Um, and there's like people singing along with it. Like this, like they both, the, they look like the same. <laughs> it's so <laughs> ridiculous. And of course he does. Yeah, there we go. That. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, and then at one point, like, I, you know, the, the ball that he's standing on breaks and, and falls. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to take someone who's not entirely attractive to pull this off. It's like, oh my God, you're in tidy whities yeah. and you're. Get this big beard, and you just you try to be sexy, and oh my god, it, yeah. That's kidding. Now, now, dude, how many views does this have? Because I, when I wrote this in, in here, don't tell me yet. When I wrote okay. it in here, it's seventy six million. Seventy six million. I wrote it in, into this outline earlier today. Where where is it at now? It's at seventy six million. Oh, it hasn't updated still, yet. Still. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was gonna update. No, but okay. I mean, this was uploaded. Uh, when was this uploaded? About, let me see the day that it was. November 26th. It's not too long ago. Though. So not weeks. that long ago. Like two and weeks. It's, it's blowing up. And the thing is, this guy does videos like this and doesn't, and he can't monetize them. So it's like, I'm, I'm wondering, like, what else does he do? Because 76 million views, he's not making a penny off this video. Yeah. Yeah. But Me and him should talk. I love I love Steve. Steve, Steve is funny. Like, he just comes out of nowhere every few months with... Something wild and <laughs> oh, I think I've seen his songs in real life uh, sketches. Um, I think I have. I think I have too. Yeah, is that was that him who? Yeah, because he has like Aladdin in real life, or ba you know, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, where they, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's monetizing this video. Okay, um, but good, good for him. You know, it's hard, it's hard work to go out there and sing Miley Cyrus' "Wrecking Ball" in your <laughs> living room on a ball on chat roulette. And, okay, I think her. It, yeah, it's a little bit more. I wouldn't. I, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do it. I could see you doing it. Okay. Well, think about this. He has now two million subscribers. Yeah. Okay. Could you In do it case, for that, dude? I will get some tidy whities from from Target tonight. <laughs> if I thought <laughs> I could get to two million, yes. Yeah, he has two point three million subscribers. So that's obviously translating pretty well for him. Yeah, people. Um, are yeah, the question is, is, do you want a 76 million viewed video? Um, yes. Yeah. My yes. is on four. So yes, yeah. I do. Absolutely. I, I would love that. Well, speaking of monetization, there's been issues um, coming down the pipeline of people who are adding affiliate links to their videos. So if you're unfamiliar with an, what an affiliate link is, is actually we... We sort of do it in this show, except we don't add it to the description or in an annotation, uh, which mm -hmm. is allowed. Um, but an affiliate link is a link that if you click on it, you know, it takes you to a site and you get, make money off of it. And this could be in the form of uh, an Amazon affiliate link, where if you click through to a product, you uh, the, the person who owns uh, that portion of the affiliate link would get a percentage of the, com uh, of the sale. Or it could be something like, uh, you know go to this hosting provider and sure. and sign up and then you know through the affiliate link sort of thing yeah i i found this chat like when i was reading this i found this interesting because it's in the youtube terms of service which basically says uh you can't use a platform for commercial uses like advertising sponsorships promotions uh, and it's pretty broad but like every company from revision 3 they said this video is brought to you by so I I do some myself for a few for a few companies. Right. So many people, you know, and there's people who are tech people, who um, you know, they'll talk about a MacBook or something, and they'll put the affiliate. You know, here's the link to go check it out. And so, I was so I'm, I'm like, it, but if if they if they really push this, Chad, if they really enforce this, none of those none of that would exist. Revision three and all. Yeah. And oh yeah. Nobody nobody you, we, we would, would exist. We wouldn't exist on YouTube. On YouTube. Absolutely. So, it's confusing because even... they state in their partner program policy that paid production placement or promotion is allowed. Yes, and that's what's confusing. Does that mean that if, if you're not a partner and you can't monetize your videos, then you're really not allowed to monetize any of your videos? 
Well, what they want you to do, there's a there's a box. Like, okay, uh, so let's say we're, we're talking about my, my microphone that's not working earlier. So a uh, Blue Yeti. Let's say this was a, a sponsor, and I, I had it back here somewhere where you can. It's just sitting on a chair, right? And it's, that's a that's paid product placement. And what I'm supposed to do is is click a box that lets YouTube know, hey, I, there's a paid product placement in here. I'll give them a few details, and it's fine. Most people don't click the box. As a matter of fact, I don't even see the box anymore. So right. I I think they just they need to change this terms of service because no one follows that because no one knows that is you're not supposed to technically do it, but you can do it if it's a paid promotion, which all affiliate links are paid promotion, aren't right. they? I mean, yeah. basically, basically, <laughs> I mean, maybe people haven't clicked on it and you haven't gotten paid yet, but that's the that that is the yeah. idea behind it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I could I could see them doing it. Uh, so they don't want other companies undercutting their service, you know. But, but okay, what about when uh, Kmart and all these other companies did these viral videos to get people to go to Kmart or, or to right. go to... And we talked about some of those some months ago, you know, where they did this crazy... That's that's promotion. They're using yeah. a free service. Where you can where they, ship your pantaloons. Exactly. To and, and think about this. If they put it on TV, how much are they going to pay? A ton, tons, tons, tons. It's so funny because uh, a few years ago I had really good friends in the advertisement business and they were saying, oh my gosh, we just got the best traction on this ad. We got 20,000 people to watch it on TV. And it was like, <laughs> those those Kmart videos got millions of views. Yeah. And, 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 it's, they, and it's absolutely free. There's no hosting. There's no nothing. Those people are... are Swimming in cash after yeah, something like that. Besides the production of making a video, which they would have to do for the commercial anyway. Yes. It's free. They're not paying for it to come out at 10, 10 a.m. and 11 p.m. late. You know, it's it's free and it's sitting there. And YouTube has allowed that. So I, I just wonder why this is still in terms of service unless it's just a just in case someone becomes a, a spammer or takes advantage of the site. They they have some legal uh, a legal course of action. Yeah. I just worry that if they do that, the spammer could say, well, hey, what about all these other people? And, right. And then comes an issue. I, I mean, I it, may be, it may be something that they write into their terms just in case they see someone who they don't like. It's like, you know what? We've seen these other people and they're doing it much better and with much more taste. And you're just doing it really bad and making YouTube a bad experience that we can get rid of that person. But but that's not the letter of the law. That that makes it a, a, a big issue. Um, so yeah, with that so said... Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a weird thing, but it's I'm hoping it doesn't become a big deal. But it was an article about it, so we wanted to cover it. Right. So with that said, you know, HuluPlus.com <laughs> slash TWIYT, you can go yes. there to check out Hulu Plus. Uh, Lamar, what? have you have, you've heard of Hulu Hulu, right? Oh, oh yeah, I use it all the time. All the time. Now, what happens I, when you find yourself at your big old? How, how big was your TV? Sixty five inch. Sixty two inch. Sixty two inch TV. And you want to watch Hulu Plus there. You want to watch it on your smartphone. You want to watch it. You want to watch Hulu content on the go anywhere. I had to sign up for Hulu Plus because that's where I get the extended content off of my computer. Absolutely. Uh, which I didn't mind doing because it was only a few, you know, what, seven, eight bucks? Seven ninety nine for yeah. a month, a month, yeah. like for less than a coffee, a month. Um, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it's funny because... I was wanting to know which shows um, are available. And so I got this sheet here. This has, you can see all the names uh, if, you're listen if you're listening via audio. This is a full page, three columns of, of all of the shows. It was so long that I kind of gave up looking for all the shows that I like to watch because there were so many. Running through a few, America's Funniest Home Videos, American Dad, American Idol. These are in... Alphabetical order, as you can see. <laughs> Dragon Ball like, Z, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Heroes. I never actually caught up on Heroes, so I'm excited about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need to do that. I yeah. do. Family Guy, Kyle XY, Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex. I love, that is my favorite anime ever. Um, Law and Order, I, Lost. I, I, didn't, I didn't know they had so much anime on there until I checked the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So much yeah. It's great. So, um, and, and of course, they have a wonderful iPad app. Um, I have it right here on my iPad. I just need to jump over to it. And you get, you sometimes get like exclusive content. Like this is an extended trailer for The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, uh, a movie that's coming up. 
Um, and th the Simpsons. I mean, this is this is great, great, great stuff. Um, so go ahead. Oh no! So they also make originals, and I'm uh, and I'm obsessed over one. It was a cartoon one. It was called uh, the Awesomes. The Awesomes. And yeah, and it was it was like these these crazy superheroes who like kind of defunct superheroes. And it was a great season. I watched I watched all the way through, and now I want more. Yeah. It's like when is the next, when is the next one coming? Yeah. And it's only on Hulu Plus, which is. Uh, which is cool, but it's a little frustrating. It's like, I want it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it yeah. takes time to make that original content. I know. Um, so, of course, you can watch <laughs> your favorite shows like Jimmy Kimmel Live, Shark Tank, Family Guy, and SNL. And you can even watch uh, every episode of uh, shows like Lost, Doctor Who, Community, and Star Trek. Uh, so, this is only $7.99 for a month to catch up on the current shows that are happening right now or binge on your old favorites. You can try Hulu Plus for free for two weeks if you go to HuluPlus.com slash T-W-I-Y-T. That's a special extra week. If you just go and sign up, you'll only get one. So use HuluPlus.com slash T-W-I-Y-T to get that extended free trial. And we thank Hulu Plus for supporting our show. Without them, we couldn't bring this great content to you. So thank you, Hulu Plus, for supporting yeah. this week in YouTube. I like them. I like them too. So uh, let's uh, the tip of the week. Uh, this came actually from a chat room member. Uh, I was just randomly sitting in front of my uh, my computer, and I got a little PM, uh, and I totally forgot to write down who that person was. So I'm very, very, very sorry. But uh, it comes from uh, Mozilla. The people who make the browser Firefox, and uh, I kind of I like this because sometimes I don't always understand the analytics that I'm looking at on my own uh, channel. So having someone else look at the analytics and figure it out on a per video basis, especially someone maybe who's paid or who talked to a professional, it's always good to sort of get that insight. So uh, the title of this article is "The Bonuses of Really Short." videos and what they mentioned was uh, this is for their tutorials on uh, their browsers so if you're someone who's creating some sort of tor tutorial uh, focus show like myself with OMG craft or like us uh, they oh. mentioned uh, by looking at uh, the the usage of, or the the viewer count on their video after the first topic was finished and after the title topic was finished. So if they had named, uh, he said he named a, a video, How to Set My Homepage. Um, and he said after the first 23 seconds, the answer was completed. He had finished the answer, but then he had added sort of arbitrary content on top of it uh, to be like, oh, and if you want to know this other thing, here you go. Everyone just dropped right off watching the video. So they remade the video. Uh, Coming in, I, I believe, what is he said, a 21 second long video. And of course, people watched all the way through uh, getting all of the content and finishing uh, the video, which wow. he, you know, says so shorter is better in this case because you're getting everyone through the end. Um, and it's kind of crazy to think about making a, also just making a video, it's 21 seconds long. Just, yeah. The, the the crazy thing is seventy one percent retention is actually really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but he got uh, he they retooled it and got a hundred and seven, which is unheard of. <laughs> that, is, that is unheard. Of. That is amazing. And so the way that you get above a hundred percent is by people watching it a second time. Yes. Okay. Because yeah, they rewind or watch it a second time. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And so and then he also mentioned that it's much easier to. Uh, to regionalize videos that are much shorter because they're shorter and you can just redub them. So he has the same video, but in Spanish. Um, and you can see they're very quick and you're into it. And this is all in Spanish and you could just hire someone to re-say what you said in Spanish. And if it's shorter, that's going to cost a lot less and it's going to cost you a lot less time to make sure that it's right, uh, which is also sort of an added benefit. Um, so I guess what the, the moral of the story is, is if you are making content, don't be afraid to make it even shorter than you are uh, sort of comfortable with. Well, you know what? Next week, 30 seconds we're doing the show. That's it. I think so. It's going to be, yeah. hey, Lamar. Hey, Chad. Hey, hey Chad. Uh, what's, what's up? Not much. Okay. Cool. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, and that about wraps it up uh, for this episode of the. With that, oh, oh we are end, leaving. Let's end the episode, right? <laughs> what have you been up to this last week on YouTube? Um, not too much. Um, because I'm I haven't been feeling 100 percent still, and so it's been a little frustrating. I've been trying to retool for 
the 2014. Thank you for going to my channel because I have no idea what I did. What's that last video? Uh, you did Crazy People with Money a week ago. Okay. I don't even know what that's about, but it was about crazy people with money. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, it was so crazy. That was ranting about. Um, I, I did a video on, uh, you know, my usual show on a match with a socially awkward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon Prime Air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Uh, they want they wanted me to really highlight that that Prime Air video of right. the, the drones. Right. And it's such a ridiculous. Uh, such, I mean, it's a awesome idea. It's just not it's not going to happen. It's, you know, there's you no way that, that could happen. FTC is going to allow. I, uh, first of all, I think I said in the video, I think Amazon knew knows that it's not going to happen. They did that as one business insider kind of busted them, maybe. So they did that right before Cyber Monday to get free publicity. Yeah. Because they got 15 minutes of of an interview, free publicity yeah. for Cyber Monday. So I don't know. I, I, I think I think it's a great concept, but imagine if them and five other companies did that. Just our skyline. You won't be able to see the sun. What? <laughs> But you don't. You can't drive on the roads. There's so many <laughs> trucks. Like, like let's imagine that home delivery wasn't a thing. That that the UPS mm -hmm. guy walking to your door wasn't a thing, and they okay. came out and said, "We're going to hire thousands of people to drive around in trucks delivering items to your front door." You would say that is the most ridiculous and expensive thing I've ever heard of. It'll never fly. That'll never happen. You're going to spend so much gas, so much time is going to be wasted. It's going to cost a buttload. I think it's totally doable. You buy the robot once, you 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 the first model might be noisy, the second model you you streamline to be quiet. I haven't gotten a chance to talk about this, so I'm really excited. You, you don't see the problem with this? You don't think well, that thing lands, people are going to jump on it and and play but that's with like it. It's gonna... the law. Like, uh, you uh, could do uh, that uh, to the delivery about, guy. What about people in apartments? Then, uh... Okay, the, the Santa Claus can't go there. And, and, so, and so... People in apartments might be even better because the drone can fly into your into your area. Okay, see, okay, it right drops, there. Right there right. is a no-no. I live in a 20, 30-floor apartment. No drone's going to be coming to my window. <laughs> you might have a drone landing area where they drop off a few things and then they fly. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but but it, it was fun, like just check, talking about that. That yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm trying to retool for the new year for for my channel. Uh, I'm always retooling. So people say, "Oh, you always changing." Duh, you're supposed to change all the time. You you really are. Yeah. YouTube changes every few months. So we have to change every few months. So I'm uh, just trying to get some get myself on a consistent basis and uh, and just do it for fun because I, I got a lot of projects coming up, and so I have to balance out my schedule a lot and. Right. So what about you? So uh, this last week, this is the first week that I have not put up a vlog. The vlogs have always been I've noticed that. the most popular thing. I, last week, I just ran out of time and was not able to put up a vlog. I did put up a ton of other content. I did. I still did a video a day. Um, I, I slacked on on Sunday, this last Sunday. I wasn't able to get up a video. Um, but other than that, it's been a whole bunch of gameplay videos. Um, uh, the vlog just didn't happen, but I started playing a new game called Starbound, which is really fun. Um, and, uh, I'm finishing up, uh, the PVP series that I was doing. And, uh, I think I'm finished with, uh, X Rebirth, which is another game. So it's been game, game, game crazy over on, uh, on my channel. So uh, I gotta, I want to ask you something. Uh-huh. Um, uh, because I don't know why I never asked you before. You're the perfect person to ask this. Um, how have you seen the mix of you doing vlog vlogs and gaming and and just to add to that question do you consider your channel a gaming channel or a vlog or a vlog channel just an entertainment channel i would consider it an entertainment and what are your political views no, I'm I'm sorry, I'm yeah, yeah and <laughs> and i don't believe in no uh, capitalism yeah. it's done um uh which that is ridiculous um so uh, i do see myself as just an entertainer and um I feel like it's not the worst thing in the world if someone ignores something in the feed of videos because you do that every day. You go through your subscriber list and you see videos that just aren't as okay. interesting and you move on. I also think that it's really important to have one location to just be my personality. And I only came to that conclusion because Geek and Sundry did that with their channel, and that was that's even... A, that's, that's right, that's right, they did. That was, like, even crazy. It was, like, you would have Felicia Day next to, like, uh, you know, some other thing, you know, next to a book review show, 
and that was like on one channel. Yeah, yeah, on one channel, and they were really successful, and that kind of was what broke me out of everything needs to be on its own separate channel because it's really hard to get people to go to three different channels to subscribe. It's, it's nearly it's nearly impossible. And right. and one other example you can look at are the uh, the Fine Brothers. Now, if anybody has a has a case to do separate channels, it's them because they have kids react, elders react, YouTubers react. They got all these different series that could hold on their own, but like if they come, they came when they came out with the YouTubers react, they're like, well, we got this big audience. Why would we split them off? Why not just give give everybody a chance to see it? They don't like it. They don't like it. But at least it's you putting it in front of the most people, right? And so and so and, and I'm real reason I asked you that because I was battling myself. That man, should I open up a gaming channel? And I'm very against the second channel for your reason, right? But but I thought. You know, that was the thing that you had to do. But if I did that, okay, maybe 5,000 people go over there, maybe 1,500 watch a video, and then I'm serving to 1,500 where I could have been serving to 20,000 who on average watch my videos now. And, and it also really goes yeah. back to, you remember the, uh, when we had um, uh, Locker Gnome, uh, uh, Chris Perillo on, uh, he mentioned... Yes. This is a cult of personality. When people come to see your stuff, they just want to see you and they want to hang out with you. And that is what I kind of really base my channel off of is you're coming here to see more of me. And maybe you don't enjoy a certain video game, so you're going to ignore it. But if you've it like and I want to also I also want to be able to be mobile with my audience. So, uh yeah, it, it, it's also I've also had a lot of regrets over the 10,000 subscriber thing because basically I don't want a big number. I want a quality number and I feel like that helps if you just put all your all your stuff on on one channel. Um, yeah. I I think in the end it does. You you know, it you you will have those people that will that will say, "Oh, you should make a second channel. You should you can I I I've had to learn to ignore that and realize right. That I'm there's a bigger you know, strategy to it. I'm trying to get most the most people to see my content because they they do come for me. No one comes to me for uh, daily tech news. They already know I don't do that anymore. Right. Uh, no, no no one comes to me for a specific a specific thing. You know they want to just see hey what's Lamar gonna talk about? Yeah. Or what's he gonna what's he gonna do? And so I, I, that's kind of my revelation on the weekend. So I, I wanted to get your thoughts. Yep. Yep. That's about <laughs> it. Oh, excuse me. No problem. So thanks for watching this week in YouTube. If you want to subscribe uh, for future episodes, head on over to twit.tv slash, sorry, youtube.com. We're a YouTube show. YouTube.com slash T-W-I-Y-T uh, and hit the big old subscribe button. If you want to catch us live, you can every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. That about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.